In a previous video, we were able to control a DC motor speed using a PWM signal generated by STM32 microcontroller. What about playing with RGB LEDs this time? With the ability of setting the RGB LEDs color to be purple, yellow, cyan, or even white, using three potentiometers that control red, green, blue, light brightness using ADC multi-channel DMA control. In this video, we will discuss the hardware used for RGB LED color control and the concerns to be considered when working with such a design. The concept of direct memory access and how to apply it with analog to digital converter will be discussed as well through STM32 microcontroller programming. We have got colorful LEDs to play with today, so without wasting any time, let the game begin! To understand what is going on here, we need to know that one RGB LED consists of red, green, blue LEDs and they are available in SMD or DIP packages where the anodes or cathodes of the LEDs are tied to one pin. While in this SMD RGB LED that I have here, whoops! Well, anyways, in this type of package, there is no internal connection between the LEDs. So we need to apply a potential difference to all the LED anodes and limit the LED use current using resistors connected to their cathodes. And by doing that, we can see the following. So what is special about RGB LEDs? Well, technically, using these three colors, it is possible to display more varieties of colors by playing with each color brightness using pulse width moderation. So we need three PWM channels to control only one RGB LED or a group of LEDs connected in parallel. Alright, let's try to implement something with what we have learned so far. Say we want to connect several LEDs in parallel configuration. First of all, we can hook all the anodes to 5 volt and connect all the red LEDs cathodes to one resistor and we can do the same thing with green and blue LEDs. After that, connect each branch to the collector of an NPN transistor to be able to derive the LEDs via PWM channel of a microcontroller. And to control the PWM signals percentage, we can connect three ADC pins to three potentiometers and play with the PWM signal on time according to the readings we are getting from the analog to digital converters when rotating the potentiometer knobs. And now we are ready to construct our hardware. I have soldered five RGB LEDs using the parallel configuration we talked about on a piece of breadboard and connected the LEDs cathodes to three NPN transistors which will be derived using three PWM channels as we discussed before. USB socket was soldered to the board so it can be powered using a USB cable which can also power my STM32 microcontroller board using this terminal which is configured as shown. Well, although this board does not have the best design ever, I think it will serve its educational purpose. Having completed the hardware part, let's jump into STM32 microcontroller programming. First of all, we do our usual serial wire and clock configuration. Then three PWM channels are configured at Tamir 2 with a period of 255 and a prescalar of 71, making the PWM signal frequency be 220 kilohertz which can, of course, be handled by the PGT I'm using. To control the generated PWM signals on time through potentiometers, we need to configure three ADC channels to read the varying voltages resulting from the potentiometer's shaft rotation. And since the voltage reading process will repeat constantly, it is a better idea to run this task over direct memory access feature, or DMA in short. To understand what DMA is, we can imagine it as a small controller that does routine jobs without the interference of the main CPU since DMA can access both the RAM and peripherals which serves our purpose so the DMA can read the values from the ADC and place them in the RAM so the CPU can adjust the PWM signal on time according to the red ADC values. Alright, DMA seems cool, right? 
To implement DMA with three ADC channels on QMX, go to ADC settings and enable scan conversion mode to scan multiple ADC channels. And continuous conversion mode is enabled to scan all the determined channels continuously. The number of conversions is set to be three because we have three inputs, channel three, four, and five. Then we assign the channels we are reading from to the ranks so the reading operation is done in order. And since timing is not critical in our case, I'm selecting the slowest sampling rate. Now let's configure the DMA controller. The data width is set to be half word because the ADC buffer is 12 bits wide and the mode should be circular. So the read operation is done continuously. Having everything configured correctly, let's jump into coding section. All right, so first of all, an area in the RAM is allocated for the DMA to write ADC readings. After that, the ADC is started with DMA and the array address with the number of ADC channels is passed to this function to do three readings per cycle. After that, three PWM channels are started. Inside the while loop, the read data by the ADC DMA is passed to the capture compare registers to update the PWM signals on time. One last thing to mention is that shift write operation is done to cut off 14 bit value into 8 bit value because remember that we had set the timer period to be 255. You can of course set the timer period to be 4095 so you can skip this step but keep in mind that this will reduce the PWM signal frequency. All right, now let's see how the whole system works in practice. And by doing so, we are actually changing the RGB LED's color brightness by changing the potentiometer's resistance. Well, I am aware of the fact that using potentiometers to change the LED color is not quite convenient at all. And of course, it would be awesome if we could change the LED color using some smartphone. So you guys can guess what I'm planning to do in my next videos, right? This is a good point to finish this tutorial. If you have learned something new, please tell your friends about useful electronics. Let me know what topics you want to be discussed in the upcoming videos in the comment section below. Thank you for being with me today. Stay tuned and bye bye.